Habs strike down lightning. Right here, talking Habs with Rick. Um, okay, before we get into that, uh, please like, subscribe, ring that bell. That'll notify you of all my videos as they come out. Question of the day. I'd like to know your uh, Habs three stars of the game tonight. So your Habs three stars, who do you think were the best? Um, there were lots, lots of choices tonight. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know who you picked. Uh, I read them all, and I'm interested to hear what you guys say. And stay tuned to the end of this video for my Habs 3 stars. Let's get right into it. There's a lot. Uh, so, first of all, Paul Byron was back in the lineup tonight on the fourth line with Thompson and, and uh, Kokanyemi. And Wheel was centering uh, Drew and Armia, Armia on the uh, third line. Okay, so starts off uh, with a bad... Uh, well, anyways, uh, 228 Stamkos. He centers a puck from the uh, uh, the corner, um, and it bounces off Domi. Sort of, I think Domi kind of he was trying to kick it out of the way, but he kicked it right into the net uh, and passed the surprise price for uh, Stamkos's forty third. Sort of, <coughs> excuse me. He, uh, so I wrote here it might be a long night tonight. Told you that in my earlier video, Stamkos is a Habs killer, but that's not what happened. Uh, so it was a bit slow paced. Uh, early on, not enough intensity by Montreal, in my opinion. Um, uh, Tampa, I'm sure, is fine with that. Um, but then the Habs changed that. At um, 9.58, there was a holding call on Sergachev. Habs come close on the on the delayed penalty. It was a long delay, too. Uh, uh, Tampa didn't touch the puck for a while. Um, and they came close, but that didn't get anything on the actual power play. At 12.23, though, Thompson finally gets his first goal. Uh, Byron skates in hard to get a dumped in puck. It was behind the net, and he passes it out to Thompson. He takes a second to he handles it for a second, and he he whips it past with a nice wrist shot, past uh, Pasquale. It was his fifth goal, and it was from Byron and Ben. At 17:24, Galley on a breakaway, he shoots, and Pasquale makes a really really nice glove save. And then right after that, on two separate uh, Russians by the Habs, he makes two more big saves. On Galley again and on Byron. Uh, it was a slow start, um, energy-wise. Then it became an entertaining shootathon by Montreal. The rookie Pasquale coming up big many times, uh, many times over in this game. To the whole, whole game, he was good. The Habs poured rubber on Pasquale, and I think if they can keep this up, they should get a, a few more goals. Pasquale's from Toronto, so I'm sure he really wants to win this game. <clears throat> and that's probably why he uh, he was probably pretty excited being in Montreal. Okay, uh, shots on goal. 19 for Montreal, 7 for Tampa, 1 power play. They were 0 for 1 for the Habs. Tampa did not get a power play. Second period. It was a pretty fast start to the second. There was good end-to-end -end flow. Then they were moving pretty fast, not like in the first. Pasquale still making big saves. He robs Drouin with a hand save. It, it, right in the crease, Drouin was just sweet, just about to sweep the puck in, and he got his hand on it and moved it away. So it was pretty bad. Uh, 418, Paquette uh, taps in a rebound right in front of uh, Price for his 13th from Ernie and uh, Chernak. So it's 2-1. to one. 732, Armia. Uh, right here. Oh, yeah, he corrals his own rebound, skating across the crease. So he, he takes a shot, he gets the rebound back as he's skating right across the crease. And from a crazy angle on the side, he bounces it off of, uh, off of Pasquale right into the net. So it was really nice to tie it up. Uh, it was uh, Armia's 13th from Tatar and Deneau. At uh, 1339, there was a holding call on point, and it was a pretty decent power play by Montreal, but no goal. So it was another good period for Montreal. They didn't get down after Tampa's goal, uh, or goals, goal. Uh, they kept battling all period and bringing the play to Tampa all, all period. Out shooting Tampa again, Pasquale having to come up with big saves again and again. Price equal to the task as well on the other side, but he was ne not nearly as busy. I don't think they can do much more than what they've, they're doing already at this point. They need to keep it going and never give up. Just keep firing pucks at this guy. Shots on goal, second period, 16 for Montreal, 10 for Tampa. Montreal again 0 for 1 on the power play, Tampa no power play. Third period. So um, it's been an ex a very entertaining back and forth goaltenders duel so far, especially in this period. 
It's a period of big plays offensively and defensively. And this is at up to the seven minute mark. At 747, the Habs pressing furiously, shot after shot. Lekkinen bats down a floating puck. It's like he bats it down, but thank God his stick was right around the crossbar, which if it went over, it could have been a high sticking. Um, and, he, and he knocks it in as the puck falls. He knocks the puck in. So um, the Lightning challenged it for goaltender interference, and it was ruled no goal of goaltender interference. It was Lekkinen's 11th from Mete and Shaw. Habs up 3-2. to two. Habs still pressing hard for more, and then they just miss. They get a three-on-one break, and they just miss. I can't remember. Honestly, I didn't write it down. I don't know who was on the break. At 10.08, though, Lekkinen breaks Domi free with a really nice pass right at the blue line, Tampa Bay blue line, and he makes a no-mistake wrist shot past Pasquale for his 28th from Lekkinen and Ben. Habs up 4-2, to two, which is the score I called in my earlier video. Pasquale pulled with 3.15 left. So at this point, my, the fire alarm in my building goes off, and I spent the next hour outside waiting for the firemen to give the all-clear. So I just missed a, a little tiny, tiny bit the last few seconds. I didn't miss much. But I would have got this video out earlier, so I apologize. Not, not much I could do. So I can brag a bit today for getting the score right. Yay! Yay, Rick! Woohoo! Uh, it was a near-perfect performance by Montreal. They executed and played their game all night. Tampa Bay never got their game settled enough to do any damage at all. I can't say enough for the character of this team. They never quit in this game and never got down on themselves when Tampa scored. They didn't, uh, they didn't let a hot goalie get to them. Instead, they powered through that, and then patience, they, they were able to solve them. So uh, shots on goal for that period were 10 Montreal, 7 Tampa, Nobody had a power play. Total shots on goal, 45 Montreal, 24 Tampa. Uh, Montreal was 0 for 2 on the power play. Tampa, no, no power plays. If you waited this long, here's my three stars of this, of this game. Third star, Nate Thompson. He got a goal, his first as a hab, and worked hard all night, and he deserves it. Second star, Armia. He got a goal, great work all night, plus that beautiful goal. That was an amazing goal. And then first star, Lekkinen. His goal and an assist, and he worked hard all night, and he made plays all night. And he deserves, finally, to have a good game like that and get a, a first star. So, um, Boston beat Columbus 6-2. to two. Carolina beat Toronto 4-1. to one. So, nothing settled. Nothing settled yet. Next game, Thursday in Washington at 7 p.m. If we win, who knows if that makes a difference and we're in or not yet. I have a feeling it's going to come down to Saturday's game. And the last two teams are going to get in on Saturday. So let's hope that actually happens. And we're still in it right up to the last day. There's my video for you guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, please like and subscribe. Ring the bell. That will notify you of all my videos. Question of this day. Give me your three, st three Hab stars of this game. Leave a comment in the comment section. I do read them all. Thanks for watching. Kitos to all my Finland viewers and I'm gonna put a couple videos up here one I'm gonna pick one YouTube's gonna pick for me hope you enjoy those and I'll see you for the next game bye bye Vasti